In the wake of the Michael Brown protest this month, five people have stepped forward in a multi-million dollar lawsuit filed against St. Louis County Police. Lawyers announced five people who they dubbed the Ferguson Five say police illegally detained them and violated their constitutional rights, often with combative force. They are seeking $40 million in damages. The plaintiff's story suggests they were caught in the unrest. WDAF explains. One woman said she and her 17-year-old son were roughed up and arrested because they wouldn't leave a McDonald's restaurant fast enough. Another man claims he was shot several times with rubber bullets while he was walking through the protest zone to his mother's house. Several police officials, including Ferguson Police Chief Thomas Jackson and St. Louis County Police Chief John Belmar, have been named in the lawsuit. According to CNN, the suit criticizes the police's use of military equipment during the protests. Washington caught wind of the claim and President Obama called for an investigation as well. And we will hold Thomas Jackson and his police department yes, in sir. Ferguson yes. fully accountable. Yes, That's lead attorney Malik Shabazz speaking to reporters after he filed the $40 million lawsuit in federal court. Details of the lawsuit hit the press Thursday and overnight some local media turned their focus to Shabazz and his controversial history. Local pastors recently denounced Shabazz because they believe he appeared to incite violence at the protest. They now say they have to come to terms with the lawyer. Last week, high profile African American clergy members told me they wanted Shabazz to leave St. Louis. I literally watched him. Uh, cause chaos and then he shifts and begins to say, um, oh, let's keep the peace. Shabazz is the founder and president of the group Black Lawyers for Justice based in Washington, D.C. The group recently postponed a class action lawsuit seeking $200 million in damages for Ferguson protesters. For Newsium, Megan Judy.